Good afternoon. Bill Krause, pastor at Family Community Church, live in the living color here. Uh, I've been watching so many people do this on Facebook and on television, I thought I'd try it. Uh, we're, uh, we're right here in Mrs. Krause's Sunday school room. Uh, actually, this is her daily room. I'm not quite sitting in the position uh, B, but this is the place, and uh, she even gave me prayer. And I'm very grateful for that. Uh, thank God for technology. Uh, thank God for today. Thank God for all the great people that know how to set this up and do it and prepare us for all these things. Here's, here's the real bottom line. God is on the throne. He is, he is in complete uh, charge of heaven, and he's got as much authority down here as we're letting him have. So it's up to you and I to stand up and be strong and to hold fast during these times. This is not a time to back down from your prayer time, your Bible time. In fact, now, that, now more than ever, you have more time to spend with God. And the more time you spend with God, the more in tune you're going to be to Him. If you are playing a lot of cards, you're going to be in tune to your card game. And if you're spending time in the Word and in prayer, then you're going to be in tune to what God is saying and doing. And this is the time. You're in a moment when you can grasp God and His goodness and His graciousness and allowing Him to speak to you. He can guide you and direct you in this time of your life to really your finest hour because most people are captivated by fear. You being in a position to be captivated by God, controlled by God, you are in a, in a moment that uh, you had to go back hundreds of years to have because we've been so busy as a society, so running. Uh, this is it. You can, you can really go back in time to the quietness, the calmness, the peace of God. And in that time, God can communicate with you and with him communicating with you, you are uh, eligible to hear and to know what he's doing. Uh, I am so, uh, so, so grateful for the training and the equipping that God's done for all of us. And I can truly say that uh, we're blessed to all of the uh, family, community, community church, church people, people are healthy, healthy, happy, and holy that, that they, they are. are. They were prepared for this. They weren't prepared by stocking up food and water and and cash they were prepared by being filled with the word of god they've been trained and equipped so not one of them is sick or having any symptoms or even afraid of being sick or having any symptoms in fact there's a group of us from the church who have committed ourselves to going out and serving the community making sure that they're fed and clothed and have their everyday necessities as a result of the uh, banding together that we've done to go and serve the community. Listen, this is, a, this is a time of creativity, not cautiousness, but creativity. Should you be wise, you should always be wise. Every day of your life, should you be afraid, you should never be afraid of man or sickness. You should have the fear of the Lord and awareness of his presence. You should be going and doing everything that God tells you to do every day of your life. And in these times, you don't, you don't want to go anywhere. I've taught this for, actually it's years now, but in the last two years I've been training and equipping people on hearing the voice of God, being led by the Spirit of God, knowing what God is saying under troubled times and, and under fire, I call it. Because with everything that's going on in our lives right now, we must know the voice of God. We have to be able to hear Him clearly and discern His voice. And then He's always, He leadeth uh, into green pastures. He's leading us into greatness. He's leading us into His goodness. And as you and I take time to prepare, to be aware then we're going to come out on top. This is not a time to lose. This is a time to win. This is t not a time to shrink back. It's a time to, to push forward and to be a champion 
for the things of God, to see that, that, uh, that he is willing and able for us to succeed and us to be blessed and for us to, to enjoy. I mean, you should be enjoying your family. You should be enjoying the family meals. Dads and moms are not going to work. And this, this is it, folks. We're, I said it earlier and I'll say it again. This is a rare moment, something that may never happen again. And with this, are, are more things going to come upon the earth? Yes, they are. And we need to continue to invest into the things of God. However, we, we're to have this time with your kids at the ages they are and, and you're, you do have the ability to eat and you do have the ability to, to pray and to play and I'm encouraging you to go outside and kick a soccer ball around, play board games, uh, eat together, shut your TV off, have some moments of where, where it is true silence, maybe the whole family come together in silence and then tell what they heard from God during that time. Precious, precious times. You're creating memories. Take photos, journal, write down your thoughts. Take time to, to, um, to measure what God's saying and doing in your life. So it's, it's really great. If you have any questions, you can um, call 916-334-7700. We're still have our, someone in our office answering the phones. The bookstore is still open and operating. We are online, we are making sales by telephone and we have people coming by and uh, picking up the things that they want and need. Uh, I was out in the community just a couple, yesterday and a man said he was looking for toilet paper and I was able to send him to the bookstore where we have stocked toilet paper for, for people that are, are struggling to get it, that we have it. So again, inventive, creative times. We're not gouging people, we're simply having what they need. It's just as much as people need the Bible. At this time, people needed toilet paper. So stay in tune, be wise, enjoy yourself. Uh, you can always uh, send an email to info at familycc.org. We'll... Um, we're happy to pray for you. We love you. We're here to be a blessing for you. And we're going we're gonna to continue going. This is, this is not even a hiccup. It's not even a speed bump. Continue being generous. Continue giving. Uh, continue thinking about other people. Don't shrink back. Fear causes people to pull back. And this is the time we need to be bold. Call your friends, relatives, people you haven't had time to talk to. And, and measure out a time during a day when you're going to make phone calls to people. Write notes of thank you, be kind, be generous, be forthcoming. Check on your neighbors, <clears throat> the ones you know, maybe go leave a note on the door of a neighbor you don't know and tell to give them your cell number and if they need anything picked up from the store they can make a list and leave the money in an envelope and you'll take it to the store and go pick up the items for them. Be creative, be a servant, be kind to people. I had to talk to um, some uh, financial people today. I went to a bank uh, and did some business, not my, not my regular bank, another bank, and I made sure I was kind. When I got on the phone, uh, make sure you're not edgy, punchy, be, really bring it down, be extra kind, Keep asking, keep persisting, uh, because th they're there. But when the woman couldn't help me, I said, well, would you get a supervisor? And then she kept coming online because it was taking quite a while. And that supervisor of uh, another financial institution was able to correct the situation, give me exactly what I asked for. This is a good time, great time, to sit down and go over your credit card expenditures Make sure you know everything on there. Maybe you're doing a monthly car wash. Maybe it's a time to cancel it and start back up. Maybe you have a movie, Cinemark or something, you could cancel that. Make sure you're going through all of your credit cards, 
all of your bills, call your phone company, see if you can lower your rates, call your cable company, see if you can lower your rates, Sirius XM. All of them have different sales and things going on, so just you know, be wise. If you're gonna do this, use your time wisely and cut cost and spend time with the family and, and again, just use the wisdom of God. I love you, I appreciate you. I'm gonna wrap this up. And again, 916-334-7700. If you're gonna call us, info at Family CC. The office is open if you wanna come by, if you need somebody to pray for you, or the office is open if you wanna come by, bring your tithes or offerings. And again, that bookstore is open. So be blessed, enjoy God, enjoy one another. Stay on the happy side of life. You're very fortunate. None of us have this and none of us are getting it. And uh, stay off the news. There's, uh, I'll tell you what they, got, they have to say. Some more people got the virus, some more people died, and things are not good. So now that you've got the news out of the way, go to the good news that says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. I love you. God is saying, I have you in the palm of my hand. And if you didn't hear me before, I've been on some different food programs over the, over the course of my life, and they're sending me food. I didn't order it, I'm not paying for it. They just sent me food and it's free. Why, because to me it's just a sign and a wonder that God wants me to declare to you that don't try to figure out how you're gonna get your water or your food or your gasoline or anything else. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. God bless you, I love you, I appreciate you. We'll be having Sunday morning service, 9.45. Miss Krause will be broadcasting live California time right here uh, from our home. And then uh, I'll be preaching 11 o'clock a.m. from 6331 Watt Avenue and then back at 6 p.m. And they're having a missions prayer at 4.45. They're broadcasting that live. And then of course, Tuesday nights at 6.30. We're doing devotions at the bookstore every day with a different version of the Bible. And we're reaching out to our church and our community. And people are really enjoying that and enjoying the different versions and the different people doing them. So come be a part of those things. Stay connected. Coach Katie has her exercise program. Uh, Miss Pam has pop-ups with Miss Pam for the kids. So be creative, have fun. God's faithful. We love you. God bless.